Oh, hello, you call me sods. Um, today's a very good day for me. Um, 5th of September, Thursday, 5th of September, <clears throat> 2024. It's a day I'll never forget. Something happened to me that has made me an incredibly proud dad. Some of you may or may not know, I have a biological daughter who's in her 20s, and she graduated from university. Here, there she is, right there. That's her giving the graduation speech because she graduated top of her class. Could not be more proud of her. Holding it. Thank you to everyone that's come and supported us. Um, <laughs> and what's <laughs> even worse is she's going back for another. She's going Don't in for her really masters. Um, so thanks for that, guys. <laughs> um, but honestly, it's been a great pleasure getting to know As all of father, you guys. As a father, I'm incredibly of proud of her. It has been a really massive achievement for me. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see where you guys Incredibly end up. proud Thank of her. You. She beat me. <laughs> I never went to university. I started to attend Thank Campbell you, College of Arts and I had a I'd change of like heart to after our provost, Professor. You know, I, 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 I had a decision to make. I could either join the army or I could tr go to college. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi guys. And I chose <laughs> college at first. And I was getting my bachelor's and then my master's in fine arts and then modern masters. Um, so Jackson Pollock, Picasso, things of that nature. And one day I just had a different calling. Didn't show up, just went straight to the nearest recruitment office. Went in there, yes. Granted, I had pre-signed up when, when I was in the recruit when I was in the cadets. Problem is, problem is, um, there was an issue with my paperwork. Apparently, I didn't know this, um, and so. Long story short, ended up going in, doing my thing. Ninety-eight to two thousand three, two thousand four. Um, the the arse ended two thousand three, the beginning of two thousand four. I got my paperwork handed to me. Then the tail end of 2004, I moved to America. So I was in for, for a 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004. I was in for six years. So I was going to do it for life. I was a tank driver, 3rd right Armoured Regiment. Uh, Challenger 1s, Challenger 2s, Warrior APCs. Um, and even the recovery vehicles, things of that nature. Um, British Army invested over two hundred and forty thousand pounds into my training, so I thought I'm pretty sure they got their fucking money's worth out of me. And um, so I never get got to go to university. I do currently am doing an online university course, but that's different. What I mean is I have never actually attended Eton or Preston or or, or uh, Cambridge or Oxford. I've never attended an actual university. I never sat there with the cap and the gown and yada yada yada. I've got many certificates, many, many certificates in my cybersecurity career, which is what I do. I do penetration testing, remote pen testing is what I do. So I get paid to basically legally hack people, uh, free Wi-Fi points, um, public transport, um, things of that nature. And my goal is to eventually get contracts to work for the government. So that's my goal, um, but I gotta shop around and I gotta pad out my CV first before I can actually do anything like that, you know. So, <clears throat> and I'm in the process of learning Python and C plus and a few other coding skills. Rust primarily is one that I want to learn, and so yeah, 
So I'm learning that with the aid, actually, ironically, of ChatGPT. And no, I don't mean ChatGPT is coding for me. ChatGPT is giving me little tutorials to do. And then it tests me to see if I did it correctly. I'm literally using ChatGPT. It's a seven day challenge. All you gotta do is go to ChatGPT, tell them I wish to learn this thing. <clears throat> then you give it a time frame, like 30 days, 14 days. And what it will do is it will come up with a curriculum for you. You can even ask it for a full-fledged curriculum. Now, it can't test you. You have to pay. You can go to your local public library if you're in the U.S. I'm, I'm not sure if the U.K. still does it. But you can actually go in there and ask for a test for whatever you're testing for. So they will give you the, the coursework, the actual test papers, the coursework. They'll sit you down, you know, and they'll give you your time limits, whether it's 30 minutes, 60 minutes, but it depends on whatever it is. And you can actually do the actual test, fill all the paperwork, da -da 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 -da, hand it to the librarian, pay your fee, they send it off to a testing center, and it comes back if you passed or if you failed. You don't technically have to go to a higher education area, you don't have to go to a university or whatever. That's all pageantry, that's all it is, that's all, it's all pageantry. You know? And so, don't be scared to learn something new. With the event of, and I'm sorry, it's not called AI, okay? chat gpt is not an ai there is no intelligence there none what chat gpt is is basically a condensed version of google the only difference is is chat gpt won't teach you certain things that you can also find so it can't look at the dark web it can't look at certain things so like you can't type in how do i make c4 that's an instant red flag it's like uh, no i'm not going to teach you how to make angry putty you know things of that nature or how do I make um, napalm things of that nature it's instantly going to flag you grab your IP address if you're not using a VPN always use a VPN and ship it off to the relevant authorities you know MI6 MI5 police FBI CIA wherever wherever you're at KGB uh, you get what I'm saying but what you can do with ChatGPT is you can have it work for you and how I do that is I will ask it to do challenges. Like, as you guys know, I play World of Tanks. And sometimes I have the most insane videos where it's like, why is he using a Hawker 30 with only HE? I got the challenge from Chat ChatGPT. One of the other challenges I got the other day was to set up my FV4005, my Doom Turtle, with one shell. And I had to get a kill. That's it. One shell. And I had to get a kill. Does that fuck over my teammates? Yes. And this is why I think that they're... Now, this is an idea. And I'm throwing it out there. You may like it, you may not. But here's the idea. When it comes to games like World of Tanks... I would like to see a very, and I know they've got their onslaught season, I know they've got their clan wars, and technically that's their competitive side, but when it comes to the random rooms, I would like to get us to ha I would like to let us have our training rooms back. We could create a training room, go in there, yes, I know they're technically, but let me get to what I'm saying. I want us to make custom rooms. So it's very similar to a testing room, but you actually get EXP and credits. You also pay for your ammunition and your repairs, like a regular, actual, random game. The only difference is you can set filters, like no auto loaders, no artillery, no light tanks. And in that way, it's kind of like server hosting, like on, on, on you, when you play games like Call of Duty and Battlefield and various other things, you can host your own servers with your own custom server rules. That's what I'm initially saying. Allow us to host our own servers with custom server rules that also allow us to progress forward in our, our tech trees. I'm not saying give it, let us have a server. It's like you kill one tank and you get 4 million EXP. I'm not asking for glitched servers. I'm not asking for hack servers. That's not what I'm asking. What I'm asking for is give us the ability to create a, a, our own custom room 
so streamers, myself, uh, Quickie Baby, um, not that he does that, but uh, Skills, uh, Ducky, things of that nature, so that they, okay, while streaming and, and grinding and having fun and entertaining people can say, let me just open up a custom room and show you what I'm talking about. Open up the room, bring up the map, da 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 educated community. It's not hard. I guess, yes, you could do that with a training room, but that's not what I'm asking. I'm not asking for the training room side because you get nothing out of the training room. In fact, you get fined because you have to pay for your ammo and repairs. You get no experience. That's what I'm talking about. I want us to have a custom room where we can have our own fucking pick what... Four, four, we get to pick four maps, you know, and, and those maps are picked at random. You know, so you got like a 25% chance of getting mines, Malinovka, uh, 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 Pearl Harbor. You, you, do you see what I'm saying? Just four maps that we can pick. Okay, they're, they're, they're picked at random. You know, you can invite people into it. You can pick, you can put people on certain teams and squads and you have a simple box that says no auto loaders, no light tanks, no artillery, no medium tanks, no heavy tanks, no tank destroyers, yada yada. You get a literally, you can select what can and can't be in there. Even the matchmaker. Plus one, neg one. That's it. It allows you, Wargaming, to playtest certain things that the player base have been begging and pleading for. Such as a update to your shitty fucking matchmaker. And the fact that we keep streaming, no fucking autoloaders. We are done with autoloaders. Stop adding autoloaders. No fucking more autoloaders. We are done. Stop adding them. Not every fucking nation had autoloaders. Okay? Stop. Just fucking stop. Thank you. Because you are quite literally making tier 8s, tier 9s, and tier 10s feel like tiers 1, 2, and 3 again. You just are. Also, you have lowered the hit points on modules. And you didn't tell anyone. And you think we didn't notice. Like, my tier 10 Yagi E100 that has... Bond hardening level three, and the, the 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 track health upgrade and a whole bunch of other stuff is still getting tracked with one shot, as where the previous patch it would take a minimum of three shots to track my tank destroyer. Seriously, you, have you not noticed since the new patch went live? That you're losing modules and crew a lot easier now. So you've... With the skill update, you have made damn near anything to do with upgrading or whatnot to your tracks and various modules obsolete. Enjoy the slow clap. This is how fun some of us are having right now. Like the fact that both my loaders now have to have safe stowage in order for safe stowage to actually work again. As where it even said on safe stowage that you only ever needed one loader to have safe stowage. I'm not joking. Am I? Seriously. Did you even do true extensive testing? Because I don't fucking think you did. And so you decided to add, 
think it's like 20 rounds or 50 rounds. It's, it's got a god-awful stupid high amount of ammunition for a fucking autoloader. Uh, tiers 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 in the Czech tech tree. Not realising that the Czechs are just German tanks. Did you not realise that? Oh, wait. Think about it. Panzer 38 NA. What was that? Was that a German tank design or, or a Czech tank design? Oh, wait. Oh. Bing, 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 bing. How about the fact that the Czechs not only made German tanks, but they also made Russian tanks too. There's a Czechoslovakian clone of the T-34. Mm, exactly. So, if the Czechs at that time were making stuff for both the Germans and the Russians, wouldn't that mean that Germany gets those sort of autoloader guns for its current light tank, light tech tree? Oh, no, we can't do that. Why? Just why? Because uh, your brain can't fucking think because you're too, too full of shit and in a movement. But I digress. <coughs> now. <sighs> the new skilled perks system it is good the, the newer skills that they've added are good it's about fucking time I might add but wargaming know that the more advanced your crew is the better off you're going to be so why is it why does it feel like it is taking longer to get your first tier of skill. I'm not joking. They've, they've done something to the skill system. They've either extended out the amount of experience needed to even get your first tier of skill. Some, some, something is just not adding up. You know? So I even looked into this too. I even looked into this too. Now, yes, this is technically a coffee time of Cobra. And yes, this is technically what you're looking at. K91 and the Object 277. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. They're both pieces of shit. They knew the K91 was so bad when they first put it out with its non-rotating turret that they've now decided to give it a full rotating turret. Problem is, if you look at the modules inside, if the turret does rotate all the way right, all the way around they've quite literally torn the gunner and driver in half do you not remember the scene from Iron Man where the test pilot was in that uh, um, Hammer Industries clone of, of, of Tony Stark's armor and it twists like 180 degrees in the opposite direction and the pilot inside is literally like torn in half that's exactly what would happen to the crew inside the K91 but you know well, how about the fact that when they freaked out because players realised that the barrel of... I think it was the... Was it the Tiger II or the E-75? I want to say it's the, it was the Tiger II. Uh, I want to say it... Was, and that shit needs to go. I want to say it was the Tiger II. Yeah, it was, because people were complaining that the barrel of the Tiger II would clip through the front plate here saying that that was impossible and so they purposely gave the Tiger II less gun depression because it used to have I think it was like 9 degrees of gun depression or 10 degrees of gun depression and now she has 8 degrees of gun depression so you used to be able to actually work a ridge line you can't anymore in Tiger II they nerfed the Tiger II in, into basically becoming a bullshit sniper because you can't brawl with this thing because the gun's an action. Uh, uh, un unless you've got... Oh, and that's right, I have the big gun. Look, 225 mm pen for tier 9. Are you fucking high? 
you you demand that we constantly run premium ammo at that point wargaming at this tier that's all i need to say and yet ye 75 okay yeah see look gets the exact same gun so you're using this now at tier nine how the fuck is that a tier nine gun please explain that to me the alpha is pathetic the penetration is a fucking joke but let me get to the skills now why is it it feels like it takes forever to get the first you know what i, I can shut i can actually show you let me go to my medium tanks real quick now this thing is completely elited it's completely got all the modules researched so bear in mind i've played this tank okay the the, the prototype panther researched both the panther one and the vk which are both over fifty thousand exp that's a hundred grand in exp right there for those not including the upgrades okay now not including the field modifications and these guys haven't even got past their first tier of skill something's not right there something's not right there at all is it wargaming and as you can see i'm almost at halfway in the points in the battle pass in this newest battle pass and my guys still aren't even cracked 90 percent Something you neglected to tell us, Wargaming? And, and, my, my, Panzer fought off. Okay. Commander's on his third tier of skill. So you're basically forcing us to take Mentor as a perk. Just to get the rest of the crew's skills up fast enough. To catch up to the other players who are seal clubbers. And their crews are already at t you know, a, a max of six skills. Yada, yada, yada. So you're sh you, not only are you hamstringing and handicapping us, you're also covering us in barbecue sauce and throwing us into the fucking ocean with our hands and legs tied up, surrounded by fucking sharks. Oops. I swear, they have Britney Spears' oops, I did it again on fucking, like, repeat in the fucking office for the... It, it, in the area of their, their, their fucking building that for the fucking ideas of let's come up with the most stupid fucking retarded thing this time oops I did it again seriously do you not fucking learn anything wargaming oh and another thing the super purging the super purging does not I repeat does not get preferential matchmaker Um, I have no idea who or what that is. Why am I being added to a... I don't want to view this community. I want to leave the community. Thank you. I didn't even ask to join the community. Fucking twats. I hate that shit. Fuck, so piss off. Sorry. So, not only have you made it harder for newer players to grind up their crews, they're now having to fight people that have skills that make any kind of upgrades to, like, track health, things of that nature. You know, the things that you see majority on super heavies, like this. And what does it do? Suspension durability. No, it doesn't. Because I'm literally getting tracked. And I've got two sets of tracks, by the way. And I'm getting tracked in one shot. Even with... An additional 10% to suspension durability. I'm still getting tracked in one shot and not not just on that one I have it on my Tiger one in fact I have 
Yeah, see? Module durability, suspension durability, doesn't bloody matter. You will get tracked in one shot because of the gunner crew skill. And I'll show you exactly what one it is. It is Deadeye. Increase the chance of critically damaging a vehicle's module and injuring crew members, yada, 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 yada. Tank destroyers are loving this skill now. This skill, armorer, and concentration. They are loving those three skills. Snapshot is now obsolete, unless you're in a medium tank, I would per se. I would say, unless you're literally in a medium tank, yeah, that's used to just rocking back and forth from knife fighting and whatnot. But then again, you'd also take other skills. There's a there's a driver skill you would take. No, is it driver or radio? Um, it's not gunner, is it? No. Where is it? Is it a loader? Close combat. There you go. You would take close combat. You take close combat, snap, and if you, you take... And this is another thing. Why does the loaders get things like perfect charge? I mean, I, I'm not, sorry, not perfect charge. Um, close combat. Wouldn't that go down to the gunner? Because, you know, he's the one controlling the gun. Not Fritz, who's going up. And this is another thing. If you truly want to make the game balanced again, get rid of and i cannot fucking stress this in fact you you won't even allow heavy tanks to take it you'll only allow mediums and light tanks to take it so i believe i don't does any of my mediums have one i don't think they do no in fact i i know for a fact no wait 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 no he doesn't have one but this thing the commander's vision system remove it from medium tanks period remove it make it a light tank only piece of equipment and when it comes to the light tanks remove the improved radio set and make that a medium tank piece of equipment only Because I'm sick and tired of seeing Barasks being used as pseudo light tanks now. I'm getting spotted and damaged more by Barasks than I am light tanks. In fact, I know people that play Barasks and just exclusively hunt down light tanks, knowing that that light tank has A, not enough hit points, and B, not enough armor to survive two fucking shots of almost 500 hit points of damage. And you're thinking, but the Barask doesn't shoot for 500. It does with the right fucking skills. Shall I show you? Gunner. Take Deadeye. Loader. Then takes Ammo Tuning. You will get clipped for 1100 to 1200 damage. How many hit points does a tier 6 to 9 or even to tier 10 tank, uh, a light tank have? Let's take a look, shall we? Tech tree. Tier 6. VK. You have... 650 hit points. You could even be sh killed in one shot. Boop, boop. Bye. Have a wonderful time. Let's take a look at the next one. Let's take a look at the the the, the SP1C. Shall we? What's your hit points? 810. You will get two clipped. Pop pop. You're done. 
Are you starting to see the point, Wargaming? You have literally made an entire tech tree class obsolete while at the same time making an older, previously obsolete tech, te uh, tech tree class profitable again, usable again, and that's artillery. Now, again, this is my this is my EU account, okay? It's not my North American account. My North American account, I've got tier 9s and tier 10s artillery, okay? On my EU account, I've got one artillery, and only one, and it's only one I need. GW Panther. I don't need anything else. You don't want anything else, because the GW Panther has a fucking turret. So all the skills that you're going to get, and yes, Deadeye does work with artillery. It covers all shell types. The old Deadeye perk never used to carry HE. And with artillery only ever realistically lobbing HE, Deadeye was a dead skill. This is why you want to take... It's getting to the point where you want to take off Brother in Arms and not use it again. And I am not exaggerating on that. It has gotten to the point where Brother in Arms has become obsolete. Because you can make up for that lack of 5% right there. 7.5%. 3.5%. Two point, you see, are you starting to see? All of these combined outweighs brother in arms from a gunner's perspective. Take a look at the commander. Okay? From a commander's perspective. Let's get rid of, 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 of brother in arms for a second. But let's keep mentor. And let's take a look at grabbing concealment instead. Make it easier for you to shotgun. But at this point, you don't need brother in arms anymore. Driver, there's no point in taking any of the smooth shot snap stuff. It really isn't. Now, take clutch braking instead because yes there is a point where you do end up having to rotate your 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 your, your chassis of the tank off-road driving doesn't matter not don't matter um smooth ride doesn't matter because you're not going to be shooting on the move of artillery you're just not so loaders notice that one loader has taken perfect charge Okay, perfect charge. Notice it says by all crew members. No, both loaders do not need to have perfect charge because point is, even if only one has it, you've got perfect charge at 5%, not 10. The video even says, the video even says the moment, the moment your crew members, you know, get that perk, it's, it's approved at 50%. When you've got two, so two, two drivers, not you never have two drivers, but two loaders, two gunners, etc., etc., with the same perk, it then stacks and goes up to a maximum of 10%. So, yeah, I've only got 5%, but with Brother in Arms, jumps up to 10. So you don't have to load up that. Same, this is why he's got that, and Mother Loader's got freaking ammo tuning. Again, what does ammo tuning say? If two loaders have this perk, the average value of his training is level is a player. Exactly. Average. And it says if. If. Which means two loaders don't have to take it. Only one. No point in taking intuition because your artillery, you're only ever going to pick one freaking shell type. H-E. Duh. AP rounds on artillery is fucking pointless. I'm not even joking. It absolutely is. I did a meme video where I took nothing but AP shells for my for my artillery. Do you want to know how many shells penetrated? None. And I hit targets. Pink. Bounced off. Pink. What's that? Armor. I fired twelve shots, twelve non penetrations. Why? Because. What's this? This is the degree, this can sometimes be the degree, this can sometimes be the degree of the shell coming in at sloped armor. 
it's not going to pen. It will always bounce unless that light, uh, uh, unless that medium tank or that light tank or that heavy tank. I'll use this Walker Bulldog for example. If I'm looking at Bulldog head on and my shell comes in, yeah, it's a Bulldog. I'm going to pen and do damage. But if this was a medium tank, say. Um, an Iron Arnie or anything with spaced armor, good fucking luck. HE is going to do nothing to it. But AP shells might have a chance of actually getting through the first layer, but not the second, so it's going to bounce off. Now, that medium tank or that heavy tank on a hill, if he's crested like this, I'm going to bounce no matter what, no matter who it is. It could be a freaking uh, 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 um, Hellcat. I'm going to bounce. Now, even if it was backwards with his ass in the air saying, fuck me, daddy, fuck me, I'm still going to bounce. So never, ever, ever load AP shells in an artillery because they're not going to do shit other than waste your time and waste your credits. Do not even remotely come close to using AP shells in artillery. It's because of the trajectory of your gun arc. Okay, the shell trajectory. This way, might pen anywhere in between no and the reason why i say this way is because the shell is going to come straight down and normalize on the deck armor which should well by the way war gaming be only about two millimeters thick not 19 like you have on the is7 i'm sorry i've stuck i've actually touched an is3 and i'm telling you it's only two fucking millimeters thick you fucking morons. You can't even get your god tier fucking tanks correct. Anyway. So long story short. Or a short story long. In order for an artillery shell to be effective. Don't bother going here. Don't If, 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 if this tank is side on to you. And you fire your shell. Always fire. On the opposite side of the tank. In fact I'll, I'll, I'll do a video and show it to you. So it's just a lot easier for me to do a video and show you. And I will use my uh, um, uh, GW Panther. Uh, I don't really need to run a booster. No boosters. What? No boosters? Yeah, there's only 3,000 players, so there's going to be a whole bunch of freaking tards playing today. I have already gotten messages from players who have been playing about as long as I have. And they've said that this update, although... It breathes new life into the crew training system. There is still glaring holes. And it just feels like Wargaming is dangling car keys going, Look at here. Look over here. Look over here. Don't look what I'm doing over here. Look over here. Look over here. Because it's amazing. Like, Why are they reselling the Terminator series of tanks? Why? <laughs> why are you literally reselling... The, the Terminator franchise thing. Is it because you've lost the IP rights to it? Oh. That might be it. The fact that you have actually lost the IP rights to the Terminator series. And that you're trying to get the most of it out of it as you can. That you can. Possibly, maybe. I don't fucking know. By the way, how's the Ninja Turtles stuff doing for you guys? Oh, you forgot about that, didn't you already? And that was to promote what? Was there a movie coming out? Was there a, a, a cartoon coming out? Was there, No, there wasn't. Same as the Terminator series. There was nothing coming out for that too. Other than the fact that Wargaming was involved in Terminator... So there's, there's a new Terminator fucking cyberpunk looking wannabe fucking movie that came... That game, that, a video game that came out. And that they wanted to um, collab with it. Well, obviously, you helped fucking make the damn game. Case in point, we're going to go over, and of course, yeah, it says I've got a clear shot, yeah, it fucking clips the goddamn rock here, don't tell me I've got a clear shot, Wargaming, see, you're telling me I've got a clear shot, when I don't have a clear shot, don't fucking, don't piss on me and tell me it's raining, I may be into kink, but don't fucking, don't, don't waste my time. And of course, then you got to go to the, like this. There you go, he's tracked. No, he's fixed his track instantly. So he's wasted his repair kit. So your idea was to make people wait longer 
to use their repair kits. That was your job. Your job was to make people wait longer to use repair kits. Interesting, I guess. So he's done. Seriously, bro. Fire extinguisher. Come on. You can shoot him now. Or not. Seriously, Black Prince. I tried helping you, bro. I legit tried helping you. <laughs> Three, two, one. Acorn away. Ah, dud. Come on, away. Beep, beep. Now, notice I'm shooting over. Because of the gun arc. And I'm not using AP rounds. Yeah, he's dead. Bye, Hellcat. Laurent. They do la run run, they do la run. Yeah, no, he's over here. Oh, wow, you fucking called the cobra. So, do I know how to play artillery? Yes. Do I know what I'm talking about? Yes. So, with video proof, as you saw, you saw a Black Prince catch fire like that. You saw light tanks losing their tracks like that. Like, for what's going on? Seriously, right here, it's going to say tracks. And that's another thing. It's not recording true actual module damage that artillery is doing. All, all it's ever saying to you is tracks. Tracks, 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 tracks. I even set a fucking uh, uh, IS-3 on fire with my artillery. And it's and the end battle report, it still said all I did was tracks. How? Because the module reporting system is broken. I'm not the only one that's complaining about it. I mean, let's see. Top on, uh, third on the team by damage done. Third on the team by experience. And I'm artillery. Yeah, granted, I'm running chocolate and I'm running fuel. So that cost me 40, 40 thou plus. And this is another thing. Why can't I, why can't I pull back up my... See, it's not letting me pull back up my whatevers. So I can't go back to my previous battle reports. It's not letting me pull up my previous battle reports. So that doesn't make any sense. And yes, like I said, mediums complete, heavies complete, tank destroyers complete. I've got one left to do with my light tanks. 
and I just completed one of my artillery with honours. This is stun two enemy vehicles with a single shot. I, I can fucking I can do it when my eyes closed. Um, but you're starting, and what's this one? It's like do three k. Yeah, damage cores, including damage cores with your assistance, must be. Yeah, I can do that. And you're starting to understand the points I'm trying to make. You're dangling car keys and telling us, don't look over here, don't look over here, don't look over here. I'm going to look over there even more. Because I want to make sure that what you guys are doing is good for the game player base. Not your pockets. I don't give a fuck about your wallet and your pockets. I don't care. I do to some degree, but not as much as I care about the player base. Now, I do have Woot Plus, okay? I'm, I've got the 30-day trial for Woot Plus. And this bullshit... I'll bring it back up. This horse shit fucking crew... Intensive crew regiment, regiment. 40 EXP every five minutes. Does not mean shit. That is a fucking joke. 40 EXP every 5 minutes doesn't mean dick. When your crew are as good... I wouldn't say as, are as good as mine, but are at this level. It doesn't mean dick. You can eat my whole ass and tongue punch my fart box at 5 fucking percent EXP. And that's me just being nice. But you can eat my whole ass and tongue punch my fart box at 40 fucking EXP. You. That is insulting. At this tier, I could understand if it was on like a tier 1 tank or a tier 2 tank or a tier 3 tank. Maybe, depending on the tier of vehicle you activate the, the, the ability on, it differs the EXP for. Just fucking maybe. That way, it would be worth it. Oh, and, and the whole, this is the commonly used loadouts, is horse shit. I'll say that again. It is horse shit. Because if only 9.2% of player base is using that, and 82 is using that, what's the fucking 10, the 20, the 30, the 40, the 50, the 60, the 70, the 80, the 90% player base using? You've quite literally only fucking given us bullshit. This is a joke. This is you sticking your finger in my asshole and telling me it's a fucking rectal exam. I'm and I'm going I'm supposed to be paying you for that that dog water and the the faulty trickle bullshit exp every 5 minutes that doesn't mean shit to a crew my size of this skill which by the way don't even bother with the camo on the Yagi. I'm, I'm just going to strip it. Don't even bother with camo on Yagis anymore. Seriously, 21%. Only 3% after you fired. Not fucking worth it. So, I'm replacing all that that, that camo right there. That's, that's shh, getting done. Finito. Bye-bye. GG. Gone. I'm going to redo my entire Yagi and my E100's uh, 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 crew skills. And yes, these guys will eventually be my Yagi E100 crew. I'll be getting rid of this French twat. That's for sure. And this English idiot. And that bloody yank. They're going to be going. I'll, I'm going to be filling my my um, my, my Yagi's with, with, with German crew only. Like, here, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Continue purchase. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, crew members. I am going to go down here. I don't want her. Don't want her. Don't want her. I. Oh, fuck. I can't even. Have, you can only have one. 
Shit. And of course they're all fucking, the rest are all fucking British and Soviet. <laughs> bunch of wank. Don't know that shit. You're all a bunch of wank. Anyway. So I will end up probably customizing the rest of the crew. Ah, she's Chinese, no. <laughs> Items for points, yes I know. And so I will be hopefully here in the next couple of days um, getting through these passes and when I do get past them I've already got it laid out in my head what I'm what I'm spending my points on. Um, I've already got 12 tokens saved up from the last event. I would have had 24 but I, I just had to get my Kunis Panzer. Um, so I've got the Kunits. And my goal is to get either the Cobra, and I'll, I'll have the points to get the Cobra. That's what I'm saying to you. The, the, this is going in my garage. The TS-60, I just, I, it looks like an, an American clone of the German Super Heavy, only it doesn't have the round donut tit weaknesses either side. You know what I mean? So you can't fuck a tank that was supposed to look to be able to side scrape can't fucking side scrape anymore because you literally put the weaknesses on the fucking sides. Eh? Fucking idiots. So there's that. Not. So a one twenty gun. No, let's go um, typical Soviet. So we're looking at 220. Okay. Easy pen. Pen City. No pen. Pen City. Right there. Oh my god. You, you've you've done it. You, you have. You've done the German. You've made it abundantly clear that it's easy to pen the freaking thing from the top. Right there. You see this thing going hold down? Just aim here. Here or here. Your pen. Pen City. Pen City. Even with 200 millimeters of pen. Let's go down to say... 195. Okay. Pen City. Pen City. 62% chance to pen. Huh? <laughs> You'll even pen the freaking gun mantlet. Not this part of the mantlet. But you will pen that part of the mantlet. So Americans use that would be ninety mil or one hundred and twenty, right? Yeah, one twenty. No, the one fifty, one five five, on the um, on the T thirty. Okay, AP slug T thirty. <laughs> Christmas. Christmas Yeah. You'll go through this thing no matter what. Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, if you shoot under the gun, yeah, and it ricochets, it's gonna ricochet straight straight down and you're gonna penetrate. So yeah. But in all honesty I would aim for the upper part of the turret. So no Hold down assault tank destroyer my ass. You're a big no no. I literally just proved you wrong in a video. No, it's junk. Um so I'm that decide that tells me I'm going for either the co I'm not going for the um Cabot's Panzer three. That's just a piece of shit. Um go I'm going for the Cobra. I've got the Cobra on my North American account, so I will grab the Cobra for my EU account. So that's pretty much it. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys.